What's up, everybody? This is Seagull Bomb playing over here with Jacob on Borderlands 2. We're actually in a discussion video wanting to talk about the pre-sequel and what goes on with that. We also have a Rixus joining us in. Fuck you. And we're pretty much just kind of going on a discussion video wanting to see what's the big deal with why the pre-sequel is not on the next gen. That is a major factor in why one of our good friends is not too excited for the fucking game. Shut the hell up and help me kill stuff. Fuck no. off, dick. Don't tell me to, you little shit. You're a dick. You know what? Even though you have boobs and a really pretty face and... And boy, can you unzip those pants. Anyway. <laughs> we kind of want to go into, like, what is the pre-sequel about? Why its storyline is changed up? Like, why do they want to go into the pre-session between... Borderlands 1 and Borderlands 2. And the fact that it's on the on the moon. Yeah, that's... Under the freaking Hyperion ship. And I know there's a few quotes from a lot of the devs, and for some reason they're wanting the... the apparently they want the pre-sequel put on the old consoles instead of the new ones because of sales. Which is weird. Of course, those consoles have a lot more people playing them, probably. I would guess so, it's been out for a lot longer. But based on exactly. numbers, it's a little obnoxious. Like, it's people on the ne people are gonna move to the next gen. That's like, that's a given. But from what I've seen, one of the, one of the main devs said that apparently they don't want... The reason that they're not putting it on the new consoles is because it would take them so long to... They'd have to completely rebuild the, the engine. They've got time, and they've got money. Come on. Psycho, die, <laughs> you hey. asshole. Stop throwing I don't think he wants to die. Did you kill him? There. Congratulations. Better. You get a cookie. Better yet? Hey, what I'll about me? I'll you instead. Do I get a cookie? Mm, get over here, girl. Alright. And she's moaning. That totally works. Um, the characters in it. There. Okay. So we have a weird listing, and of course, everyone's going to be excited. Yes, we have Claptrap. Hooray! Amazingness! But then we also have Nisha, Wilhelm, and Athena. Personally, I don't remember, but maybe one of these characters from the older games. But apparently they've been in the second one, or that's where most well, of the characters are from, right? Uh, Nisha actually was never in a Borderlands, if I remember right. Uh, Athena was from, was in Borderlands 1, and Wilhelm was in Borderlands 2. So there's that, and also Wilhelm, the more he levels up, the more robotic he becomes. Not the more he levels up, the more perks he gets, or whatever, he gets same perks. shit. <laughs> same shit. Just kill that bully mall and get up. <clears throat> I don't I'm care trying. if you melee it or not. You can't even touch him, you hard. Hey. Tarts will not be fucked. <laughs> flat Track yeah. has a weird skill tree as well. Apparently, he's going to be known as the Flat, the Frag Trap. Completely yeah, random mother effer. I don't like random stuff. Now, one of the like one that. of the main things that a lot of people are going to question is, what the fuck is a frag? Unless like you're old, from the older generation of gaming, a lot of new people will not know what frag actually means. Main skills. <laughs> If you didn't know, or if you, a grenade. have you ever played uh, Quake or anything of the sort, all their or kills were based on the too. amount of frags you had. Oh, mail it, you mail it. That's you high school shit ever. You jackass. So the frag trap, as he's now known, I'm going to call him, is going to be based on three little sub, pretty much, skill trees. One of them being the boom trap, and that one's kind of a little tankish little fucker. The I love you guys fucking subclass, okay, is more of a healer <laughs> and a support character. And then we have the frag fragmented frag trap that is pretty much a randomization and typically elemental. Well, you got the last one right, but for one, boom trap is more of a YOLO, I'm going right to the middle of them and going to screw everything up thing. And I wouldn't quite call the uh, second one a healer. I call it more of a support bitch. Hey, hey. Coming from the MMO guy, of course. <clears throat> Supports always win. That is true. That's why I'm playing a support. Um, there's some 
just remember fishing them with melee. I didn't and just realize this was the melee. Apparently, Athena is going to have, from my perspective at least, a really broken ability. She uses no. a shield that. <laughs> Shut up. Take she it uses a shield that the more damage it takes when she reflects it back at the enemy, deals amplified damage. That doesn't really sound too broken. If anything, that's like a blessing. Nah, dude, just go run in the middle of a group of enemies, put the shield up, and then wait for them to kill themselves. And, well, and if you're fighting a boss, he's gonna deal more damage to himself than you. Frag Trap yeah, also man. has this little thing where, like, one of his... I think it's part of the I Love You Guys? No. It's in the other one, isn't it, Jacob? Uh, which one? The ability, pretty much, the more damage you take, the more uh, damage you... Uh, put on the enemies in the next bit. Uh, that's the uh, first one, the boom trap, I think. Oh, they're in the boom trap. Yeah, boom trap is all about that YOLO shit. <laughs> YOLO school heck, 420. Please it. 360 headshot, yeah, flip it, no scope. Yeah, I'm no scoping right now. That's the only way I snipe. Mountain Dew Doritos. God, my teams usually hate me. But screw it, I got them pro no scopes. Claptrap is... Jesus I'm... Christ, melee them, you mother effer. I'm glad they brought Claptrap into it, but then it kind of pisses me off. It's like, why couldn't he have been a badass in the second game? You know, he's going to be a complete total well, then god again, in this in the one. the second one, it's a lot later on than the pre-sequel. <gasps> Spoiler alert, we all know that that one guy dies. That one guy that we all know and love. It would be the black guy. Handsome Jack? Oh, yeah, well, and you guys, too. <laughs> well, I guess we He's were all on the wrong Jack. page. Me, uh, me and BB were on the right page. Uh, Jake came killed. in. I just can't remember his goddamn name. Roland got it. Yeah, I was gonna say. But just yeah, even I remember that black that guy. We all did. Are they gonna be in this game? That's. Another thing. Uh, I think the four main bolt trailer. Yeah, like, are they gonna be like somewhere, like within, like some dialogue or something? Probably. I, I think they'd be considered the <laughs> enemy since you're <laughs> playing as Hyperion. Well, also don't forget we're gonna be uh, getting some new mechanics coming in on here as well with the uh, right. with the moon level uh, being the oxygen setup. That's definitely different as hell. I mean, and also since you're on the moon, you know there's gonna be a low grav. So. And then they also have it where it's. Wait, do you get oxygen based on kills? Don't worry, I'll get you up. Really? Uh, uh, I, think, I don't know. Dead. I think it's just uh, you can't. It's kind of like Dead Space's logic. You just can't be outside for too long. Yeah, pretty much. And that's what I've learned so far about it. Well, for people like me, I enjoy going around and kind of scouting and. Just looking at all the little sweet spots that you can maybe get into, maybe find a few glitches and shit. Some people have like, played it and they generally say that the oxygen system is not that bad, like you don't really have to worry about it. Holy shit, that's a big boulder. <laughs> that's a big boulder. No scope. Ah, oh, damn it, miss. That's a very no nice scope, boulder. Miss. Good job fucking missing you no shit. No scope, dude. miss. <laughs> no scope, miss. But if, if the oxygen mechanic gets a little too... Oh, outdone, or is they gonna maybe change their mind? Because I mean, uh, I don't is know. Is it gonna limit you? Of, it might just be this one game. Who the hell I mean, knows? If, well, if they, it'd be nice if they can run back into it if it is as well done as we expect, as, as everyone hopes, pretty much. Wow, fuck you. I could have had that. I had it. Oh, uh, I did that on purpose, just so you know. You know what? You better you better take this pants off because that hip's kind of poking out right there for me and it's like spraying. Hey, Eagle Bomb, just, just come in me, baby. Alright, stay right here, you jackass. Uh, um, there are several things that they're changing, and some things that they need to change and keep. I hope they, they kind of go further with their leveling system, and also, I'm getting really tired of the cell shading. It definitely ruins their engine. Cell shading. Uh oh. You know, for those of you who don't know, with Borderlands 1 and 2, they actually have a few modders that have made it where you can disable the cell shading or at least lower the 
impact of it because when you do it actually increases your frame rate uh man i was not listening at all <laughs> all righty let's oh i gotta scan i will molest you Oh man! Wait, you even take that? Fine, bitch. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Just occurred to me I've been loot sniping everything. Loot ninja, you're not playing with you, you can't do that. Well, I have a skill tree. Their skill trees are a little bit different as well. Like, I think they they kind of have an idea of where they're trying to go with this. Plus, you well, they're a bit more skills. Plus, once you get to a certain point, like one skill counts as five, uh, five, like one time in a skill tree. <clears throat> Oh jeez. I don't know if that's one time as you level, but at least once in the skill tree. Just getting one point into any skill will count as five points and get you to the next tier. Oh, mate, kitten all I am out of ammo for my sniper and assault rifle. Eh, it's okay. It's okay anyways. I just got a message. It's okay, but I didn't mean it. <coughs> uh, Whatever, I don't need ammo. Update. They're gonna have it. Apparently they have some new slam ability on one of Claptrap's uh, attacks. Yeah, let's that you can... stuff. Oh, they have that Cryogen ability as well. Cryo slam? Well, that is the attack, but they have a new elemental. Oh, that's right. They're adding ice. Forgot about yes, that. Yes, I actually completely forgot about the ice thing. Oh, uh, what will it... Like, is it going to be just one of those kind of freezing attacks or what does it actually do you told me earlier uh, you if you hit them enough with it i believe you freeze them solid and then i think you can shatter them if you slam onto them oh that's nuts that's fucking awesome it might work that way too with melees i remember when borderland one actually released that was like one of the biggest things that kind of got all my teenage friends into it. it was just the fact that you could blow someone's head off and like little mm. bits and everything would fly everywhere i'm gonna go ahead and assume that a badass will take heart longer to freeze than a regular. Obviously. Oh, they also... I wonder if they're going to keep the uh, badass rank set up. Yeah, they've oh, always yeah, done that. Oh, yeah, that'd be nice if they kept that. And while I'm talking about that, I'm actually redeeming. You redeemed badass rank. Yeah, I have. I don't think I've done that once yet. No scope. Some horrible ass gameplay. Uh, <clears throat> and then Borderlands 2, it... If you ever played Borderlands on the console, and then you go to the PC, you can definitely tell there is... There's a big difference. Yeah, I didn't... I never noticed. The shield and HP bar actually it was more than just a straight blue bar and red bar. They noticed that they were actually like, you know, moving stuff in there. Also, the physics implementation based with NVIDIA. Of course, you can also use it with AMD side Radeon graphics cards and stuff. They they've already had patches and everything in it, but like you could see particles fly up if you had the physics enabled. Of course, I do not have it enabled right now because. The frame rate on this video would go to shit, but actually I could probably turn it on right now, kind of give a demonstration. Um, uh, but pretty much I... with the console, it doesn't enable any particle effects or anything whenever you have this enabled. Okay. What? I don't know. You're gonna suck dick. Quiet. <laughs> and Quiet also, Claptrap's different abilities. Um, his so he's got a few different skill tree abilities, like best buds for life, where whenever you revive someone, you and your buddy both gain a health regen and a damage reduction for a short period of time. That's all. And nice. you also get fight for your life, or extends your fight for the life and increases your weapon damage. And then apparently on his max for I love you guys, he gets to be high, high five guys, which will allow you apparently to oh, I'm not high five the game. trap. You yeah, if you're playing as clap trap, you get to go around and try to high five your friends, and if and someone if no doesn't high five you, 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 um, you, you get, get the, the screw you guys, guys. boss. 
which I have that buff on constantly in real life. Because screw you guys. <laughs> I'm terrible. Game. I just want love, Jacob. And Please then they show also me what guys. love is. They also have the ro the rainbow coolant ability. Oh, they have subroutines that they're starting to add. Rainbow Nova. So, subroutines, from what I kind of can understand with it, it pretty much is a right. elemental or whatnot. It's an elemental ability or some ability that grants you a perk of some sense. Like a temporary gun type. buff based it's around that. How many you have unlocked? Blah blah speed, blah. Pretty random. Uh, gun type damage, <clears throat> fire rate buffs. It's, it's not just for weapons. It's for elements and shit like that. Because elements. And then also you can apparently increase it and decrease it by the amount of kills you have. I don't, uh, know how I don't think. I don't know. I don't think so. I think it increased it to certain ways. I think it was uh, throwing grenades increased it. Plus, killing people with melee attacks, I believe, increased it as well, if you have the right perks for it. it I think it, it can make or break what they're trying to do with that subclass. Yeah. But that's one of... It, also, a lot of luck can make or break that subclass. That's definitely true. A lot true. of luck. Uh, and it also, I, if I ever play Claptrap, I will not play that class. I hate luck-based stuff. <laughs> well, the fact that being a also if, doesn't help. If you're a hoarder, it definitely might help as well. Just because if you are, like, of course it's going to display random elements bu buffs, but then of course if you don't have that elemental running, it decreases the attack on or damage for the other elements that you don't have. Or the, the other elements that it's not impacting. So if you're a hoarder, it'd be good to just kind of keep just whatever you can. One of each weapon type is always good to have. Alrighty. <laughs> well, fuck everything. This is an awesome video, and everyone want to go out and fuck themselves? Ready? Peace Three, out. Two, fuck one. You guys. We. And just everybody imagine that he killed himself. Later. Terrible.